Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video and in this video you can watch me build a lead generation campaign for restaurants. So I have done two of these campaigns before in the past. I've done a watch me build for car dealers and a watch me build for dentists. It got quite a lot of positive feedback and good responses so uh, this time I want to do something similar um, usually you know these series consist of five videos what I'm going to do now is actually divide it into three parts uh, fun fact I was actually going to record this live and do it all in one go uh, but my content team basically looked at the analytics in terms of my longer videos engagement rate etc as opposed to my shorter videos and basically advised against that so we're going to split it up into three parts Today is Friday at the time of recording this. I am trying to get the first parts of this video up by Friday, so the same day. So if you're watching this on Friday, then uh, this was recorded a few hours ago. If I was not able to make it, my apologies. Um, so the structure and the plan going forward is today, Friday, record this video and upload it. Then on the Saturday, record part two. And then on the Monday, record uh, or basically upload part three. So I'm going to record everything today and then spread the videos out over the next three, four days. So what we're going to do in the first video is basically map out our flow for the restaurants. Uh, I still need to pick a type of restaurant, etc. So map out what kind of flow, what kind of restaurant we're going to do. Um, and basically create the landing page as well so I've decided to do a landing page flow because I think the previous flows were on Facebook lead forms so a landing page it is this time then in the second video we're going to be setting up our campaign and we're going to basically map out our ad sets so what audience we are going to target and then in the last uh, video we are going to do a the advertisements so we know how to set up the advertisements etc and um, what kind of images to use what kind of copy to use and also how to automate all this within Zapier Somewhere along the line, we will also be setting up the Facebook pixel and install the tracking on the website and landing page as well. So I'm going to show you how you can do all of that so that you can also get results for your restaurant clients. No, I don't waste no time. Okay guys and welcome to the video. So as I mentioned in the introduction today we're going to be building a lead generation campaign for restaurants. Now quick disclaimer this entire series is for educational purposes only. The flow that we're going to be set up is not set up for a real restaurant. It could be set up for a real restaurant. We can get results in this way but the campaign that I set up, the landing page that I created, etc., is not for a real restaurant, okay? So with that said, we actually need to think of a restaurant that we're going to do, and I am caught in two minds here. Um, I'm debating a steakhouse, but I'm also thinking sushi. So um, see, the great thing about if this was live, I could just ask you guys, and we could also just use you know feedback, etc., that you guys give um, for this video, but... Um, I'm thinking sushi and I think you know just to basically get this video up and running I think we should just go for sushi um, just so it's done then and we can continue there's no point in uh, debating you know what kind of flow we need to set up we need to start taking action so what we're going to do first uh, like I said in the introduction is map out the flow I used to use the draw app for it I've used my map for it um, and nowadays I've been using draw.io for this a lot um, this was recommended to be my coaching student, David Bolton. So David, if you're watching this, uh, I appreciate you very much for showing me how this works. It's very aesthetically pleasing. I like the way it's all straight and neat. Whereas sometimes with the draw app, it can get a bit messy. But what we're going to be doing is basically setting up Facebook ads not lead generation ads we're going to be using the conversion objective for this i will explain why in a uh, you know later down you know this series uh, but for now i just want to quickly create the flow so is there a way to duplicate this there should be um if not i'll just copy and paste there we go so facebook ads to a landing page so we're driving traffic to a page outside of facebook um, and then from there, we basically want to get someone to make a reservation for a restaurant. So in this case, um, like I said, it'll be a sushi restaurant. Is there a way to add like text to this? Um, oh, there we go, text. So sushi restaurant flow. I'm actually craving sushi right now just by thinking about all of this. Um, so there we go, sushi restaurant flow. So Facebook ads to the landing page and the landing page is basically like an opt-in page. So uh, they can opt in um, to make a reservation, of course, and then for that, 
we want, so in exchange for the reservation, we want the name. Um, what else is important for making a reservation? Email address, not so much, but I think for in this case, it might actually be a good idea to get their email address. Um, fun fact, I still don't know how you spell address, double D, double S. In, in, in the, I know in the Netherlands it's different, so I think in the UK it's double D, double S. In the Netherlands, it's just one D, one S. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Leave a comment down below how you spell address. Um, phone number, important as well. Phone number, amount of people, I think will be quite important for restaurants. There we go. So the amount of people, what else is important? Name, email address, phone number, amount of people, time, of course, yeah, time and date. So time um, of reservation. And then we've also got date. I think that is it. Name, email address, yeah, I think that's enough for now. If not, I'll just come back and I'll think of something else. But uh, for now, there we go. So landing page, Facebook ads to landing page. And then from there, they also land on the thank you page. Can I just drag this along? There we go. So from the landing page, as soon as they opt in, you know, there needs to be some kind of registration complete. So we just have the thank you page. And then what I'll probably do on the thank you page, um, so what I'm thinking for this flow, right, is because, you know, in this, we don't actually have a restaurant client, so we don't know what kind of CRM system they use, what their backend looks like, etc. So what I think we should do is send an email to the restaurant, you know, the fictional restaurant, with all of this information, and then they basically confirm the booking um, or they add it to their CRM system, anything like that. I think that'll probably be the most realistic. And then on the thank you page, the call to action will also be to book to confirm, um, just to make sure that, you know, it seamlessly integrates. So either the restaurant confirms with them or they confirm with the restaurant, you know, it's basically a two-way sort of confirmation. So call to action to confirm. And then what I also want is I want a confirmation event on the pixel uh, or confirmation pixel on the page. So, um, Obviously, everything will be tracked with the page view pixel, um, which is just a standard pixel that you get um, when you, you know basically create a pixel within Facebook. And then what I want is either a complete registration pixel or pixel, there we go, or lead pixel. It doesn't really matter as long as we can track it. Um, to be fair, a lead pixel could probably just work fine, actually. So lead pixel on this page here. There we go. Add a little arrow to it. Go on two ways. Yeah, so guys, this is a completely free software, by the way, draw.io. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, so copy and paste that one as well. I've made a mess of it here. There we go. And then I don't know where the second arrow has gone, but fair enough. So call to action to confirm. Thank you, page. So that is basically it. That is the flow that we're going to set up. And then obviously the Facebook ads consist of a campaign and ad set and advertisements, etc. The landing page needs some work. But this is basically what we're going to set up. This is the information that I want. And um, other than that, I think that is the flow for now. We can always come back to this uh, diagram later. Let's just give it a sushi washing build YouTube vid flow. Rename, there we go. Hopefully this doesn't delete what we've just done. No, there we go. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create the landing page. So as you can see, I've got click funnels up here, um, an empty funnel basically. So the first step is for them to opt in. And then the next page is, as I put here, is going to be the thank you page. So I'll just quickly create these. I don't wanna to spend too much time on this. You know, I do value uh, you guys' time as well, but you know, still appreciate you guys for watching this. And um, like I said, I've been getting a lot of good feedback on these videos so far. So um, appreciate you guys for watching, appreciate the positive feedback. And that is why I've basically continued this little mini series of watching build um, because the feedback has been good. Where's just a blank? Have I just gone past it? Let's see. Where is the blank? Super clean opt-in. Let's just use this one. And um, I do need to give credit where credit is due. The watching build campaigns are actually inspired by uh, Colin Dice, who also creates watching build campaigns for a different industry, uh, the affiliate marketing industry. So watching build affiliate marketing campaigns, um, and he's a good friend of mine and also ex-business partner. We partnered up on a little project uh, last year. Uh, that project has come to an end, it's finished, but like I said, you know, we're still very good friends. We speak uh, on a regular basis and he basically gave me the idea for this. Um, 
So let me see, what do we do? Let's just start from the start. I, I hate using templates, it, it, I always get confused. So full width, um, add new row, first column. We need a logo actually, don't we? So let's um, Google sushi logos. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try and spend as minimum time possible on this, guys. I uh, don't wanna be spending too much time on all of this. Um, sushi logo PNG might be a good one. Saves us removing the background and stuff. Um, I like that one. Sushi slogan. Um, Maki sushi. Tokyo bar. Tokyo sushi bar. I like that. Let's just go with this one. To be fair. Like I said, we need to speed things up a bit. Otherwise, we get the content team complaining about me taking my time with all of this, um, and the video is being too long. So image is the element that we're going to use. Demo image, image, upload, uh, downloads, there we go, I think it was this one. No, it's not, I can see it was the 9th of September, that's not the one we want. Upload again, desktop, uh, today, 1446, that should be the right one. And there we go, there is our Sushi logo. Oh, it's not PNG. Okay, so that means that we need to change the background color to completely white. And to be fair, I thought I already did this background color white. Why is this not? Um, why is this still gray? Let's try again. Background color. Ah, okay. Background image. There we go. Remove that. Um, sushi logo is still fairly big, so let's just change that. Um, click on the image itself. Image width. Let's just do 50. That's a bit small. 200. 200 is big enough. Uh, image height 200. No, just leave that as is. There we go. So we've got our logo. We are already halfway there. Nah, just kidding. Um, so then what we do is add another row, two columns, and then basically what I want is an image here of a sushi place. And then on the right side, we'll probably have like where they can make the reservation. I'll probably change my mind about another 10 times, but um, just to keep things up and running, just to keep this video running, uh, that is what we're going to do for now. So Unsplash is a copyright free um, website where you can get a lot of cool images. I also use this quite often for creatives. So if you have clients that uh, don't really have good content um, or the images just aren't images that I'm happy with, I'll always look at Unsplash for some inspiration. So what I wanna do now is have a sushi restaurant image just so we can see the inside of the restaurant always performs quite well, preferably one with uh, customers. We don't want an empty sushi place. Wow, imagine if that's um, breakfast. Ah, is it? I don't think they're actually in sushi. Let me just double check. If they are, then we're definitely using this. Can we not zoom in? No. Um, that's a pretty cool image. Let me just continue looking in case we can find something else, but otherwise we've got a winner. That's a good image. So is that one. To be fair, I think this is probably more relevant. So I think I might just have to go with this one. So Louise Hansel, thank you to you for providing us with the imagery. Add element, image, demo image, click on the image, remove the placeholder and upload the real image. Downloads, um, not the downloads, desktop. 12.48, no. Unless it is the downloads, let me see. Ah, oh, there you go, today, Louise Hansel. That's the image. Okay, so the uploading is done. Add the image there, there we go. So that is our image for now. And then on the right hand side, like I said, we want our opt-ins. So, um, input, email address, let's just start with full name. And then we'll change this to your full name here. Required, definitely required. We don't want people to be able to opt in without their full name. And then what we'll do is we'll duplicate that. Add a bit of margin. 20, is that too much? 50 maybe. Yeah, 50 might be a bit better. Um, so full name, we'll change this to email address. Your email address here. So it is double D double S, I was right. So your email address here, required again, that is fine. Duplicate that. Uh, what else do we say? Let me just double check my diagram. Name, email address, phone number, amount of people, time of reservation and date, okay. So name, email address, phone number. Your phone number. 
Yeah. Name and address, phone number, amount of people, right? Yep, amount of people. So I'm guessing the amount of people is not available, so we'll have to do custom type here. Um, let me just double check. Custom type, amount of people. Okay, and then the next one is going to be amount of people. What else do we say? Amount of people, time of reservation and date. Okay, so custom type again. Time of, actually there was two, um, reservation date. Makes sense to have the first. And then the last one is reservation time. Okay. So, full name, email address, phone number, amount of people, reservation date, and reservation time. Looking at this now, I, the, uh, it'll be cool if you could have like a, a drop down menu, like one, two, I don't know, 10 people, um, instead of them manually filling out how many people um, are now going to basically be, you know, made a reservation for. Um, I'm not actually sure if that's possible. Let me just double check. So we've got input select box. We could do a select box or check. No, okay, select box it is. Okay, so I'm just, just testing things out, guys, just seeing if this is possible. So input type, um, what's all countries? Can you actually, select? never mind. Custom options. So this would be amount of people. I think this should work. So value. Can we just do it like this or no? Maybe we need to add a number here as well. So value two, three, four, four, five, five. We'll go to eight, eight, six, six, seven, seven, and then eight, eight. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think, should we add a zero as well? And then have a number of people, because I'm guessing that'll be on top, number of people. Required again. No, it starts up at one. So let me, I'll just, just remove this one. Quickly save this and preview just to make sure that I'm, I'm doing this right. Um, okay, so we don't need necessarily have zero unless we move zero up. Is that possible? No. Okay, just leave it. Let's just pretend that zero is at the top and it, it starts off with a number of people. Um, full name, email address, phone number. Okay, so I think that's right. And then what we need, let me just double check we've had everything on required. Yes, we have. So then we need the button. So add new row, column. Could have actually had the button there, but never mind. Element, button. Click to sign up. No. Um, request. Booking or request table, maybe request table. Okay, and then what I'll do is I will get my, let's see, where is it? Extensions, Colorzilla, which is a free plugin just to pick a color from page. And I'll get this specific color orange and I will make the button the same color orange as well, just to get some consistency going. I want a pill button, advanced, I want the button to wobble. What is it called wobble? Yeah, wobble. So when we hover over it, it wobbles. Just a little effect that I like. There we go. So that is done. Um, and then we need to set an action. So the action will be to submit the order, submit form, submit order, when they click on request table. Okay, so from here, we are basically done with the landing page, although it is a bit boring. Um, so what we can also do is Google like a sushi background or something. Sushi wallpaper, images, something like this. We'll put out the shutter stock uh, at the bottom. Okay. 
Maybe just type in sushi pattern wallpaper. See what comes up. No ideas if this will look good or anything, guys. I'm just testing things out. Let's try this one. Save image. Desktop. Awesome. Landing page again. Um, by the way, for those that don't know how to get rid of the affiliate badge, so go to settings, general, and then remove the affiliate badge so that you no longer have that click funnels button at the bottom. And in terms of the My Awesome Landing page, if you go to SEO Meta Data, you can change this here to um, what we call our sushi restaurant. Uh, sushi. Oh, let's just call it all you can eat sushi, might be easier. All you can eat sushi. Okay, your name, Joshua Dangle George, that's fine. Other than that, we don't really need to fill too much in. Um, so we've downloaded that sushi pattern. Let's add a background image, upload. Um, that is not here, it'll be on the desktop. There we go, that's it. Okay, add image, let's see what this looks like. Um, background color. Just have it like that on ninety percent. Uh, ah, I forgot about that. I forgot that that's not a, a PNG. Um, okay, just ignore, let's let's ignore the background. Let's just not have a background going. What we could do. I feel like I'm wasting so much time on this. Did not add. There you go. Add image. Background color, white. No, okay, guys, just ignore all of this. <laughs> Leave me be. Um, okay, so now what we need is a compliancy footer. So um, sections, add section. I think I should have one. Um, Facebook footer. I think that might be it. If not, I'll just change it. Drop. There we go. So we just need this basically. So what I'll do is just add a new row, column, um, and then can we drag it? There we go. Okay, so we can delete all of this. Um, and then what I'll probably do is I'll have the same orange for it. So click on request table. That was it. Our settings, background color, take that one. Get the text, text color, orange. And then what I'll do is I'll change this to white as well. Okay, it's looking very white, but um, like I said, it's just a simple landing page for now. Save it, just so we don't lose anything. Um, and then what we can also do is maybe have one last piece of text. Uh, Subheadline is fine. And then maybe have something like, um, what can we say? Basically, I want like another call to action that they can ring up right away here as well. Um, if you have any specific requests or want to have a same day booking, is that correct English? If you have a specific request or want to have a same day booking, um, let's just change it. If or if you want to book, if you want to book within the next 24 hours, click, uh, not, not click, please give us a call on plus, I know, just the number, let's just assume that's the, the number. Okay. There we go. I feel like something's missing. I think maybe we should add something about the menu. So what I'll do is um, add a new row, two columns, move this up, add elements, um, sub headline is fine. And then what I'll do is duplicate that. Add the element here as well. And what we can do is just something like leave us your, um, leave your contact details and we will be in touch to confirm your reservation. Okay. 
And then what I'll do is I'll just remove some of the spacing at the top here, so it's a bit closer together. And then for here, we can say something like um, your favorite, or you can eat sushi place is open for business. I've no idea, guys. Just let's just assume that's really good copy and that's really enticing. So. Um, as soon as they submit the button, they basically get sent to the thank you page, which you'll now just quickly create um, as well. So exit. So all you can eat sushi is done. The all you can eat sushi place is open for business. Then click on the thank you page. I'm just quickly create that as well. Just a clean one. Select template. And a page will have to change the domain as well in just a second. Okay, just remove all of this. Remove your awesome company as well. There we go. So add a section, full width, add new row, one column, add new element, one image, remove the placeholder and add the logo again. That's not the logo, that one is. Add image, make it a bit smaller. What do we do? 200, I think we did. Um, and then change the background as to white as well. There we go. And then add a new row, one column, new element, headline. Um, thank you for, hang on. Thank you for your reservation request. We will be in touch to confirm your booking. Um, and then call us on if you need an immediate, immediate response. There we go. Okay, so that is done and then we can add another Facebook footer if we want. It's not really relevant um, because obviously you know we're not actually directing any traffic to this URL uh, from Facebook, but just to sort of give it the finishing touch. There we go. And then add a new section full width. And then this is just my way of moving the footer down. There we go. Just so it's right at the bottom save this okay so that is done so we've got our flow as i mentioned here so the flow is facebook ads to landing page to thank you page we've now created the landing page created the thank you page and of course we've decided on um the sushi restaurant so we're not going for, for the steakhouse we're going for a sushi restaurant what i'll do now is i'll quickly add a new domain to it and then in the next uh, part of this series i will basically set up all of the tracking create the campaign uh, and the ad sets. And then like I said, in the last video, we will set up the advertisement. So like I said, before we finish off, quickly go here. So if you wanna change the domain on your funnels in ClickFunnels, go on to settings. And this is where, I can see I've just named this Watch Me Build campaign, but this is where you can basically create your domains. Um, and we just do food reservation stuff online for this. And then we'll just call uh, the path um, homepage. Okay. Uh, this is where we're going to be installing or pasting our pixel as well. So we can do all that within settings. But food reservations online is going to be the domain. Save and update settings. Make sure we've done this correctly. There we go. So food reservations online. Opt in is basically the homepage. And that basically sends us to this page here. We can just double check if the flow works. Uh, that's not my real number. So feel free to call that number if you want. Reservation time, I don't know, 7 p.m. Um, and then the date is today, which is at the time of recording this, it is the 11th of September. So 11.09, European way of uh, basically adding the date. So there we go. Request table, submit in the form, and then we should get the thank you page. There we go. Uh, we do need to remove that click funnels from the landing page and our click funnels um, affiliate badge and then after that we are finished with part one of the series so let me just quickly do that and then we can continue with part two which will be tomorrow 
So settings, general, remove the badge, and then settings, SEO metadata, uh, reservation, request complete. I don't know. That's enough. There we go. So save that, and then that should be done. There we go. Reservation request complete. Okay, so thanks for watching part one. I'll see you guys all in part two. Okay, guys, so that was the end of part one. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you got something out of it, please leave this video with a thumbs up. It really does help this channel grow. Now, if you want to know more about how you can get results for your social media marketing clients or how you can even get a client in general, I do have my very own social media marketing agency trainee program where I teach you exactly how to build up your own agency, how to get your first clients, how to automate it, scale it, get results so that you too can live life on your own terms. If you're interested in that, there is a sort of a waiting line. Um, what you need to do is basically schedule a free call with me or anyone on my team. We'll basically see you know, if we can actually help you and if you're right fit for our program. If you are, we'll offer you a uh, basically a, you know, a spot on the list and then from there we can enroll you in the program when we are taking applications again. The link for that will be linked in the description box down below. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in part two.